Hello my friends, I'm Miss Ward. Today we're going to read The Tortoise and the Hare, an Aesop fable. This has been retold by Kate Friend, illustrated by Matea Arkova, and read by Melissa Silvestro. Of all the beasts in the forest, Hare was the fastest and the cleverest. He was also the most boastful. He was always quick to tell everyone just how fast and clever he was. You can't outrun me, he would brag, and off he would go, out of sight, before any other animals even had a chance to respond. The other animals quickly got very tired of Hare's boasting. They held a meeting and agreed that it was time to put an end to it once and for all. We must have a race with the fastest animal, they said. We have to find someone who can beat him. That will shut him up and make him stop bragging. Then they began to argue about who should be the one to race against Hare. Would it be Deer? Or would it be Jaguar? All the fast animals began arguing about who was faster and could beat Hare. In the midst of all the commotion, a slow, deep voice spoke up. I will race against him. It was Tortoise. You? asked the other animals. You couldn't possibly beat Hare. Why, we could outrun you in a race right now. Even the slower ones of us. Nevertheless, I want to race against Hare, said Tortoise. I know how to beat him. Besides, if he beats me, there's nothing for him to brag about. Who is going to brag about beating Tortoise? But if he beats another fast animal, like Deer or Jaguar, then we will never hear the end of his bragging. The other animals agreed that it would be too much of a risk to have a faster animal raced against Hare, and they thought there was no harm in letting Tortoise have his way for now. If he did not live up to his promises, they could always have another race. Hare was too much of a braggart not to take the challenge of a race if it was given. So a date was set for the race, and Hare was told about the challenge. When Hare heard that Tortoise had challenged him to a race, he laughed for a day straight. That slowpoke thinks he can beat me? He shortled. We'll see who is laughing when the race is over, said Tortoise in his slow voice. On day one of the race, Hare was still laughing about the arrangement. I will be past the finish line before you even get across the starting line, he boasted. You must be a great fool to think you can beat me. Save your boasting until after the race, Tortoise warned him. Cat called the beginning of the race and the runners were off. Hare dashed off and was soon out of sight, while Tortoise plodded along slowly down the road. The rest of the animals were worried and thought that Hare would be boasting more than ever that night. But Tortoise gave them a wink and a smile, not to worry. Now Hare had made it a little bit down the road when he came up upon a beautiful garden full of the very best cabbages and carrots. These are the best vegetables I've ever seen, he said to himself. I have plenty of time to sit down and eat a bit of a snack. Tortoise must be miles behind me. So Hare left the road and went into the garden and stuffed himself full of cabbages, carrots, cucumbers, squash, and everything else that the garden had to offer. Then, looking at the sun, he realized that he had been in the garden longer than he had meant to, and took off down the road again. With his full belly and the heat of the sun, it wasn't long before Hare began to feel sleepy. At the next bend in the road, he saw a big shady tree. I am sleepy, he thought, and Tortoise must be miles behind me. He is so slow, and I am able to run so fast. I will just take a nap under this tree for a little bit. He will surely not catch up to me, and even if he does, I will be able to pass him again in two seconds flat once I get started running. So Hare flopped down under the tree and fell fast asleep. When he woke up, the sun was high in the sky, and it was getting towards afternoon. Hare jumped back on the road and began running again. He thought to himself, surely Tortoise has not made it this far yet. He is so slow. And when he did not see Tortoise on the road as he ran, he began to think that he was right. Presently, Hare came upon a clear blue pond. It was becoming so hot in the afternoon that he thought he would take a dip and cool off. I can certainly afford to take a swim, he said. Tortoise is probably still miles behind me, and even if he passes me, it will only take me two seconds to pass him again. So Hare jumped into the cool water and amused himself paddling around for a while. When he got out, the sun was beginning to lower in the sky. Hare started on his way down the road again, racing fast just in case Tortoise had passed him. It would not do to be beaten in a race by a tortoise. 
Meanwhile, Tortoise had continued down the road at his plodding pace all day long. He had not stopped for lunch, or for a nap, or for a swim. Eventually, as the afternoon was getting to be its hottest, he had passed Hare in the swimming pond. Hare was having such a good time diving and splashing that he had not even seen Tortoise, and Tortoise, of course, was not about to greet him or tell him that he was now winning. As Hare turned the final bend in the race, he saw something that made his heart sink. Tortoise was in front of him and was about to cross the finish line. Hare put on a burst of speed, but he was just not fast enough. Tortoise crossed the finish line at his slow, plodding pace while Hare was still trying to catch up. All the animals laughed at Hare, but Tortoise just said slow and steady wins the race, and Hare learned his lesson about bragging. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next time for another story and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.